Welcome to the program of San Francisco Public Library. And today we had a program called Drawing with Librarian Eric. And I'm Eric, your librarian. We are going to have fun together. And it's important to say today's program is made possible by the fans of San Francisco Public Library. We couldn't do it without them. Thank you, fans. And this program belongs to the library series Make and Do. It's the library series of craft program for school age kids and their families. And check out our website for a calendar of events, book list, and printable resource at sfpl.org slash make dash do and there's many resources you can enjoy. And today we are going to do join together. Just want to tell you join is fun and remember all the draw you have just with a color pencil, with a piece of paper, and just draw together and have fun. And there's so many different tools you can use like paper and color pencil, color marker, crayon, or even highlighter. And today we will do also like using some colors with your thumb to make the pin and all kind of material you can use. Just look around your home. Maybe you find something useful for you. And this program, uh, I'm inspired by a great gentleman and his name is Ed Ambony. And you may know him by his book. I think it's one of the books you may like called Go Away, Big Green Monster by Ed Albany. And he had made, I think, more than 100 books for children. And then you can see the display just behind him. And he had told us a very important uh, for just doing drawing, it's just most important is having fun. So it's not like I can do a good drawing or bad drawing, but just enjoy the moment and having fun with drawing. And I am just get the idea from him, uh, from his book called Great Fun Pin Drawing Book. This is the first one. And you have two different covers because this is two different editions. The more colorful one is the, the newest edition. And also the second book is about the finger pin drawing book. And it also has additional pictures and you can enjoy and have more fun with different pictures. So this program, like uh, I think, sometimes ago, uh, we like to like use a color and with your thumb and just make the thumb pin. So like uh, what we do is making the thumb pin and just draw on it, and then you can see the very cute bird just at top, and you just like uh, based on the thumb pin, and then you can easily to draw a lot of picture. And uh, the book reminds us, like uh, for making thumb pin, you can use a stamp pad. And they can be found in many places that sell art and craft supplies. But like, please make sure they are washable and 
been non-toxic, and that is important. And then you had the fun without worrying. And sometimes, like maybe not easy to find a stamp pad, so you can actually just draw a oval picture, like maybe with crayon or color pencil, pens or marker, and then you can base on that oval shape, and then you can draw your picture. It's time to have fun. Let's draw some smiling faces. Do you have your paper and color pencil or color pens markers ready? And in this section, we need five thumb pins or oval pictures. And go ahead and draw your oval pictures first. I will wait for you. I really like to draw with you together. And however, you don't need to be hurry. After the program, you can watch this video again in Facebook. Then you can pause the video in the middle, draw your picture. And restart the video. Just pause and restart, and you can catch up easily. Are you ready with your thumb pin or oval pictures? Let's start. And there are many ways to draw a smiling faces, and also people. Smile differently. And first, let me pick my brush. So I am using a program called Microsoft Paints. It comes with the Windows. So let me pick my brush. And there's so many choices. And I am using the one called on, and also you can pick how thick the tip is. So I pick the second one. So I am ready, and let's start drawing by drawing the eyes first. I, this is the first smile I'm going to draw. I draw two eyes first, like this way. And then we can add a big smile, a big, 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 big smile like this. So this is our first smiling faces. And how about draw a different kind? And then I will draw a smile with a little bit different with the eyes. So how about like this? And you see somebody. Really smile this way, and again a big smile. Is it fun? They look different, but they are both smiling, and we like seeing smiling faces. Would you like to have, give me a smile? That's really nice. And how about have a smiling faces with an open mouth. Let's try and same kind of eyes. I really like this. And with the open mouth. So I also draw a big smile like the previous two. And you add a line like this. So we have a smiling faces with an open mouth. How about smile with Showing the teeth. So let's do it together. Again, two eyes and a smile and a horizontal line. Same as the 
third one, right? And then we add some teeth like this, and and again, and a horizontal line again. And we have like smiling faces with the teeth. How's your teeth? Does it look good? And the last one, a special one. I had an eyes like this, and it also hmm just show you a different way. One eyes closed, one eyes open, and also a big smile. And we have five smiling faces now. This is fun. Remember. To smile and be happy. Good job. Hi again. And in this section, we need five thumb pins or ovals. Go ahead, enjoy yours. I will wait for you. And let's talk about feelings. And we have different feelings and different ties. And sometimes you feel happy, like maybe you just wake up and and your mom just had give you some very tasty breakfast, and then you eat the breakfast, you feel really happy. But sometimes you may feel sad. So. It's okay to feel different, and but it's also good to it feel good to express your feeling, especially by drawing. So let's draw some faces with different feelings. Are you ready? With your paper, color pencil. Maybe color pen or marker or even highlighter. It's fine. Just as long as you have fun by drawing something you really like, and you can also show it to your parents, your grow up, and share your drawing with them. I believe they really want to see it. So, are you ready? Let's draw together. And the first one is happy. So maybe you always draw with me with a smile, right? We just use the same thing for happy. When you are happy, you smile. And let me pick my brush first. I also pick, and also pick how thick my brushes is. And we are ready. Let's draw the two eyes. Right here, you can draw small eyes. You can draw big eyes. And my eyes is ready. And put a big smile for the happy face. He had happy face. And how to draw sad? So eyes again. And hmm, a little bit more for the eyes. And that you feel sad this way. And how about if you feel worried? So again, eyes and sad face. And just add two more, like this, like that. That's the face about feeling worry, about angry. Eyes again. Sad face. And and a we. You look that person really angry. Do you think so? How about scared? Eyes again, 
and oh, this is person's really scared. Two more. Is it fun? With faces, with different feelings. You did a good job. In this section, we need five thumb pins or ovals. So go ahead and join them first. I will try to wait for you. And we will have fun with hair. And there are many kinds of hairstyle. If you look at people's, they have different kind of hair, right? And also different colors too. And someone had short hair, someone had long hair, someone had curly hair, and someone had thick hair, or they call fat hair, and someone had need to hair, they like to cut the hair very, very short. And someone had low hair. And are you ready? Let's show together. And let's start with the first one with the curly hair. Let me pick my brushes. Okay, I am ready. Are you ready? Let's draw some happy faces first. So I just all draw all the happy faces. First one. Second one. We just had our happy faces ready. Two eyes, can be small, can be big, up to you. And a smile. And now we are ready to draw the hair. And how about start with the curly hair, like this. Mm -hmm. Or a little bit more, maybe somebody had fake hair. Or have you seen some people with hair like this way? And someone maybe like the spunky hair. All people with need to hair or really like to cut their hair very short, like this way. And I'm not sure if you touch the hair, how do you feel? And some people may don't have much hair at the top, but this one way for the hairstyle. So we are done, right? Just have fun with the hairstyle. And then maybe you can just take a look, take more attention to look at people's hair. And then you can find this really fun. People have all the different kind of hairstyle they like. 
and you can also by just looking at them you will find more hairstyle to draw and have more fun good job let's draw some animals and in this section we did four pumpkins or ovals sideways so go ahead and draw them first i will wait for you just want to tell you we will draw a spider a bird a cat and a pig i wonder do you like spiders or are you scared of them? Spiders make beautiful webs. The webs are made by seal, which made by spiders. And you can see birds and cats everywhere. You can hear birds singing maybe in the morning some sing at the light time too some of them had amazing voice i really like to listen to their singing how about you and do you have a cat at home as your pet i had several cats running around in my garden but they are not my pets but they are really cute i like watching them you may also see a pet in sorry books they make interesting sound like oi 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 It's about the time to draw together. Are you ready? Okay, let's draw a spider first. And let me pick. I pick a crayon as my brush and pick the size I want. And let's start drawing. Do you have your paper and color pens already? Okay, how about draw the eyes of the spider first? Let's draw one eye, two eyes. Would you like a big smile for your spider? So let's do a very big, big, big smile. And most of the spider had a legs so let's draw the leg one two three and four does your spider have long legs or short legs i think they are different some had short legs some had long legs and usually spider had like eight legs some of them had more some of them had less and the most important remember the spider make steel and the steel make the wax and that's why right here and we had our spider with a big smile are you ready for the bird Let's draw the bird and I usually start my drawing with the eye, maybe eyes is right here and bird's head big, right? And how about a big like this and bird also had tail so I had my tail right here and birds 
can fly, so they need the wing. So we have wing can be a big wing or small wing, and also bird had two legs. Yeah, draw the neck right here. One and two and like this. Is it cute? Do you like your bird? And try to draw our cat and let's draw the eyes. One can go back the eyes if you want to. Back eye. And we are going to draw a V, like the letter V for the low. So why and you see my V here? And then we draw a line to close it. Like a triangle, just a inverse triangle. And we need the mouth right here, one and two. Your cat's also smiling too, right? And how about years? How many years does a cat have? Two, right? One here, another one here, and the most important, the cat had whiskers. And the cat used whisker to sense a wang. He's a wang then. So let's draw the whisker. One, two, and three. Also three more on the other side. Can you follow? Yeah, it's fun. Just take your time. And the last animal is the pig. And also, I like to start with two eyes as well. Here, one, two, and a special rose like this. Also, a mouth to eat. And pig really like to eat. And also, years. How many does a pig have? How many years? And one here, a second here, two, right? And how many legs a pig have? I think it's four, so let's draw four legs. One, two, three, and four. And here's the last one, and the pig had a curly tail, like this. Is it fun? That's really fun. Remember, join this fun. I would like to tell you again, join this fun and just enjoy it. And this is the program called Join with Librarian Eric and it belongs to the library series called Make and Do and this is the library series of craft program for school age kids and their families and you can check out our website for our Canada of events, book list, and printable resource. And the address is sfpl.org slash m-a-k-e dash d-o San Francisco Public Library dot org slash make do. And today we had a program based on two, the idea from two books. The first one is uh, Ed Ambani's Quick Pumpkin Drawing Book. And the second one is Ed Ambani's Finger Pin Drawing Books. And they are available in your library. 
and this is San Francisco Public Library, and you can still get books from the library right now. Please contact like either send an email at info at sfpl.org, or you can call to talk to a person. Uh, it's four one five 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 seven four four zero zero, and hope you enjoy the program. And just like come and get a book and have fun, and we had many more other drawing books too. In case you want to draw more pictures, good to see you, and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.